this year even more than last. And just a nice, if it seems somber right now, it is, but it's, that's about to end here in less than two minutes as we'll take you over to uh, the mayor on the stage and, uh, and you'll see the final moments of, t of 2011. Let's go back to Amy quickly in the crowd for some final thoughts. Yeah, Carson, we have a great story here. You all have been having the time of your life. This is also on your bucket list and it's a special day for you. It is. I just turned 40 and so I've always wanted to celebrate New Year's Eve in Times Square. So here I am. Oh, we're so happy for you and you made it here, young lady, because you got what? I got straight A's. Two years ago, I was sitting at a party in uh, Washington, D.C., our hometown, and I said that I want to go to that. I want to go to New York City for New Year's Eve. And he said, okay, you got to get straight A's for two straight years. And I said, okay. And I did it, and he kept to his promise. And you did it. And there's a proud papa right there, Carson. <laughs> Back to you. Wow, straight A's. Yeah. Could have asked for the car. I mean, it's nice here, but... You should have asked for the car. <laughs> well, maybe a few years until <laughs> they're driving. And there is a great shot of a million people less than a minute now until the dropping. And let's go to the stage. You see Michael Bloomberg there, the mayor, with his guest of honor, the 2010 Medal of Honor winner, Staff Sergeant Salvatore Junta. They'll press the button, and here we go. Universal family be the first to wish all of you a very happy and healthy 2011. Sorry, I've got confetti in my teleprompter. Happy New Year, everybody. For some midnight impressions, let's go down the street. Natalie, Happy New Year.